4 o'clock, we begin with a deadly wreck on the water. A father and son killed while riding a personal watercraft in the Florida Keys. And Local 10's Jenny Samuel is live now in Marathon with more on this tragedy today. Jenny. That personal watercraft was rounding the corner, ended up coming right down this canal and then smashing right here into this seawall. And I want to show you video that we just obtained. It shows the moments before the crash. You can see dad and son are on board. The son is sitting up front, but it does appear at one point dad does have his hands on the steering. Moments later, however, is when they crash. Let's go to photos showing the aftermath. You can see the watercraft is mangled. The front is smashed. We're told that residents living here jumped into the water to help, but both dad and son would die. Take a listen to what witnesses and investigators have to say. I just heard it and then I heard the crash and it was demonstrative. It was like two cars hitting head on. It was a uh, jet ski with a uh, young boy on board and his father. Um, they somehow lost control of the jet ski, collided with the seawall, and incidentally, due to their injuries, succumbed to their injuries, both were killed. For our officers, for the sheriff's office, for EMS, a small boy, nine years old, it should just never happen. We talked to the family just a short time ago. They are absolutely heartbreaking, identifying dad and son as Jose and Daniel Dominguez. Daniel just eight years old. We're told they recently moved to the Keys from Miami because they love it here. FWC investigators, we can tell you, are right now combing through evidence. They are taking witness statements and looking at all available video. They're trying to figure out what exactly happened too. But in the meantime, a family suffering just an unimaginable loss. We're in Marathon. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News. A freak accident. Thanks a lot there, Janine.